shit! I thought I knocked him out! Men of violence are gathered here, in these halls whose very stones are dedicated to peace. I should not have agreed to host this council. The Greybeards have no business involving ourselves in such matters. But regrets are pointless. Where's a seat? Here we are. Take your seat at the council table. <laughs> I don't know where the hell I'm going. Whoa, what is this? Whoa, bloody hell. So, Arn Gear, is it? You know why we're here. Are you going to let us in or not? I walk in, everyone just looks at me like. <sighs> oh, cool, I get them at uh, the end seat. <laughs> yeah! Look at me! <laughs> Should we zoom out just to look cooler? Yeah, baby. Well, I'm sat now, I just have to wait for these to plod in. Come on! Everyone, take a seat. See what's going down here. It's, gonna be, it's, it's all just going to break out in an argument. There is going to be a war, I can just tell. You have. You have a beautiful uh, ceiling. Now that everyone is here, please take your seats. I'm still sat here. <laughs> Meh. I hope that we have all come no. here in the spirit. You insult us by bringing her to this negotiation. Who? Your chief Talos hunter. That didn't take long. Here, here. I have every right to be at this negotiation. I was wondering if she was. I need to ensure that nothing is agreed to here that violates the terms of the White Gold Concordat. She's part of the Imperial delegation. You can't dictate who I bring to this council. Please. If we have to negotiate the terms of the negotiation, <laughs> we'll never get any. Perhaps this would be a good time to get the dragon. Oh yeah, right, everyone. By Izmir's beard, the nerve of those imperial bastards, eh? Vessel stood up. To think that I would sit down at the same table with that. Thou more bitch. Either she walks or I do. Um. <sighs> she actually doesn't have any business here, though, that's the thing. What the fuck she got to do with this war? Get out of here, well then again. I am a Khajiit. <laughs> uh. This could it's so hard to choose it now because I know like my choice could affect anything. Shall I just do what I do? Or that I would do. You're right. The Thalmor have no business here. I'm glad we agree on this. Very oh, well, shit. Alfred. Enjoy your petty victory. The Thalmor will treat with whatever government rules Skyrim. We would not think of interfering in your civil war. Ha! <sighs> Skyrim will never bow to the Thalmor. <laughs> Unlike your Imperial friends here. You're lucky I respect the Greybeard's council, Galmar. Legget, we represent... <laughs> okay, the lads at the moment will be looking. Sorry, sir. It won't happen again. Now that that's settled, may we proceed? I oh, sure, sure I want to save. To say first. <laughs> Here we go. The only reason I agreed to attend this council was to deal with the dragon menace. Oh yeah. There's nothing else to talk about. Unless the Empire is finally ready to renounce its unjust claim to rule over the free people of Skyrim. I knew he wouldn't We're be able to resist. To a temporary truce to allow the dragonborn here. Yes, to please. Dragons, nothing That's more. all I want. I consider even talking to the Empire a generous gesture. Are you done? Did you just come here to make speeches, or can we get down to business? Yes, let's get this <laughs> over with. Are dun, we ready dun, to proceed? Dun, dun, dun. Jarl Ulfric, General Tullian, this council is unprecedented. We are gathered here at the Dragonborn's... Yes. I ask that you all respect the spirit of High Hrothgar. Do your best to begin the process of achieving a lasting peace. Skyrim. Who would like to open the negotiations? Yes, let's get down to it. We want control of Markar. That's our price for agreeing to a truce. So that's why you're here, Ulfric? You dare to insult I'm so into this, it's unreal. <laughs> this council to advance your own position? Jarl Elisif. General, this is outrageous. You can't be taking this demand seriously. I thought we were here to discuss a truce. 
Tell us if... I said I'd handle it. Ulfric, you can't seriously expect us to give up Murkarth at the... That's North. my favorite place. You hope to gain in council what you've been unable to take in town, <laughs> Sonny. I'm sure Jarl Ulfric does not expect something for nothing. Yes, that'd be entirely out of character. I want in return. <clears throat> Wait, General, you don't intend to just hand over Markarth to that traitor? This is how the Empire repays us for our loyalty? Enough. First, let's be clear. This council wasn't my idea. I think it's a waste oh, of time. Let the dragons kill everyone, see what the fuck I care. Yeah, cheeky bastard. And deserve a traitor's death. But I at least will negotiate in good faith. Since we're all Whoa. here at your request, I'd like to hear what you think Markarth is worth. Ah, shit. Um. Wait, wonder if I can look at the map. Riften and Dawnstar. Let me have a look. Oh, shit, I can't even look at the map. Oh. Oh. No. I can't remember. Wait. Oh, it's Dawnstar. Shit. It's Dawnstar where I met him in the first place. Or Riften. Well, it's Riften. I'm sure that's a little small, like, just a few wooden houses and, like, similar to Whiterun. To be honest, Markarth and Dawnstar do seem like the sort of. Yeah. Boom. In exchange for Markarth, the source of most of Skyrim silver. Hardly. Don't then. Riften seems like a better choice to me. Well fortified, easily resupplied from across Lake Honrick. Plus all the mead we can drink. Why well, ask me then? <laughs> you asked my opinion. I gave it to you. Fair enough. I was hoping you could put aside your loyalties for the greater good, but I well, yeah. see your firm you try to chop my fucking head off. Camp. Still, having another port would ease our supply situation considerably. Better than nothing, I suppose. But Alfred will need to offer a lot more if he wants me to give up my mm. fight. Dragonborn has spoken, Dullius. Markarth will be ours. Now we'll see if there's anything behind your talk of good faith. You disappoint me, Dragonborn. I accepted your invitation on trust in your good name. But it seems you intend to favor. Well, not really. Both I places. I thought I'm a. <laughs> this is not a negotiation at all. I know you, Ulfric. If I had. I thought Markarth, Dawnstar was better than Riften. Never defeat the Empire, and you know it. But so I was trying to like sort the best for the best. For your own selfish ambition. Soon enough, I'll have you back under the headsman's axe, and this time there won't be any dragon to save you. As always, the Empire's fine words are worth nothing. Stop! Are you so blind to our danger that you can't see past your pitiless <laughs> agreement? Here you sit arguing about Finally, that. someone sits. Oh, it says <laughs> Is he with you, Delphine? If so, I advise you to tell him to watch his tongue. He is with me. And I advise you both to listen to what he has to say. Is she talking some sense? Do anything rash. Don't you understand the danger? Don't you understand <laughs> what the return of the dragons means? Alduin has returned. The world eater. Even now he devours the souls of your fallen comrades. He grows more powerful with every soldier slain in your pointless war. Can you not put aside your hatred for even one moment in the face of this mortal danger? I don't know about the end of the world, but this dragon situation has gotten up. Well, come on then. If this truce will help the dragonborn here put an end to that menace, we both gain. Remember that, Ulfric. Now, back to the matter at hand. You know as well as I do that we can't hand over Markarth on these terms. So as bones, where will these demands end? Out with it then. We want compensation for the massacre at Carthwaston. You slaughtered the very people you claim to be fighting for. True sons of Skyrim would never do such things. Damned Imperial lies. My men would never stoop to such methods, even in retaliation for your oh, butchery oh, at... All the blood spilled in this war is on your head. So, Dragonborn, oh, what, no. what do you say? At least I can actually talk. Um. Oh, 
I actually wanted them to get Markarth, but... Oh, Freak should compensate you for who's to say what happened it. I don't know what's going on, so I'm just going to put that. I should have known better than to expect you to give us a fair hearing. Once again, the Empire takes the blame for the crime. I don't know. I don't even know about that, sir. So. You know I can't agree to these terms. The Emperor would repudiate this treaty and I would be recalled. Damn Imperial arrogance. Let's hear it. We want Kralder removed as Jarl of Winterhold and an Imperial candidate put in his place. What next, Talius? Shall I just hand over all of Skyrim? I guess I have no choice but to let the Dragonborn decide, although I'm starting to doubt your fairness. So, Dragonborn, what do you say? Um... I agree, you'll fix your turn over. Well, if, if that... It's not giving me, like... <laughs> I don't know if that... Does that mean they're getting Markarth as well? Like so, if I'm a, so basically the trading. He gets Winterhold and he gets Markarth. Then that would be fair. You know, I'm just gonna risk it. I agree. Ulfric should turn over Winterhold. I knew I could count on you. Don't you bother saying anything against me. Don't hand me a mug of sheep's piss and call it Colovian brandy. These terms are still not acceptable. You see what talking to them gets us. Out with it then. Never mind. I can see that these are the best terms we'll get from this council. So be it. The Empire at least puts the greater good above our own interests. It seems we may have an agreement. Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, these are the terms right, come currently on. on the table. Markarth yes. will be handed over to Ulfric's forces. Jarl Igmund will step down. And Thangvor Silverblood will become the Jarl of Markarth. Ulfric will allow Imperial forces into the Pale. Skald the Elder will go into exile. And Brynna Merilis will assume the Jarlship. Winterhold will be turned over to the Empire. Although the College itself will retain its traditional neutrality. Well, yeah, 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 I hope so, yeah, yeah, yeah. You both agree to this? The sons of Skyrim will live up to their agreements, as long as the Imperials hold to their. What about you, Ellison? Are these terms to your liking? Right, sir. So I'm sure General Tullius is If I have to pick a side, then obviously I'll go with Stormcloaks, and then I'll be able to be a Markarth still. <laughs> That's all I care about, Markarth. Well, I'm not being with him who cut me head off. Thank you, Jarl Ellison. I appreciate your loyalty. These terms blatantly favor the rebels. Everyone here knows that. But the Empire will accept them until the dragon menace is done. Right, yep, 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 After yep. After that, Ulfric, there will be a wreck. Count on it. Count on it. Come on, Elmar. Right. Boom. Giving up Markarth is a heavy price for this What's happening? Dragon. I'm stuck. Oh, there we go. I hope it was Whoa. That took some doing that. Sorry about the guys that I wasn't talking much, and obviously I wanted to listen to what was going on, because it's quite important with the choices. Oh, I always... How the hell do I get out of here? What's this? I'm afraid there's a problem. A serious one. I've discovered who the Greybeard's leader really is. Eh? Turns out he's a dragon, but he helped me. All well and good, but did you know that he was Alduin's chief lieutenant in ancient times? Responsible for terrible atrocities. It's true that his crimes are long in the past, but justice does not count the passage of years. The Blades have been hunting him for centuries, but he was protected by the Greybeards and then the Emperors. Justice demands that he die. I don't think so. Until he is dead, I'm afraid my oath as a Blade prevents me from... What comfort? You don't give me any comfort. I'm not fucking killing him. <laughs> Get lost. Ugh. I anticipated the problem. While you were arranging this meeting, I was busy in the library of Skyhaven Temple. An unguessed trove of lost lore. But the important thing... Oh, wait, I don't want to talk to him anymore. He's annoyed me. Cross-referencing this... Yep, 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 yep. He's not competitive. 
your voice. I yes, very yes, likely. yes, ah. yes. Someone, a dragon who will help me, yes. Right, so now what do I do? Boom. Right. Actually, I wonder if I can speak to him and say that I don't want to kill him. Yes, what is it? Justice can be harsh, but it is still justice. Parthenax Parthenax. To die. Parthenax was the author of many atrocities. True. I want to tell him no. Whether or not he has truly well, I'm not killing him, so, and obviously I, I don't want to go up there now in case I go up and that means I have to kill him. So basically, that's it. I can't go and see Parthenax anymore, but I'm not fucking killing him. And I don't want to risk going up there, and then it'll be like, right. He just attack turns on me straight away. I don't think so. If it said like an option like kill or talk to bad path and I don't know. I wouldn't really do it. I keep saying path and nooks when it's path and axe. Anyway. Yeah, well.